Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number nine, and we're going up against an alliance called the Legion of X. All right, so we're gonna go in here, take a look at uh, their defense. All right, so right off the bat, I don't see anyone here that I usually bring in, so the bands don't really affect me. That's good. Uh, let's do a little preview. All right. Let's see. I take path three, section one and two. No one's on that first node, which is uh, often the case. Then we've got Hulkbuster here. And I know they're running unstoppable armor. Everybody does. So that's probably Claire. Now here we've got my old nemesis. Huh. Anytime I see her, I want to take um, Warlock up against her. I really do, but... Uh, Claire might be a better option because of the um, static defense. That's really annoying. And I don't really have um, any shock immunes. Huh. Yeah, I hate that. I, I noticed that they did not ban Corvus. That could be an interesting option. Uh, my six-star Corvus, of course, is in AQ, but five-star can do the job. And that would be two, possibly three. Actually, that could actually be four. Tech and an Avenger. Mutant. And if she evades and I get to knock her down, that's a fully charged up Corvus right there. But then what would I do with him? Wouldn't be using him for Human Torch. So that would be out. Wouldn't use him for this Colossus. Possibly use him for Nimrod, but Claire can do both those fights. Uh, this Super Skrull I'll try to avoid as much as possible. But Warlock, perhaps. Um, hmm. I do not like fighting Super Skrull. I really don't. And we've got Dr. Doom as the boss. Haven't seen Dr. Doom as the boss for a while. And that's Spider-Man all day, every day. Uh, my Spider-Man 2099. So Claire and Spider-Man 2099. And I might be bringing back uh, Warlock. Hmm. I need to think about that. I, I may bring in someone that I haven't brought in before to deal with uh, that domino. Hmm. Someone who's shock immune like Dr. Doom. That could be an interesting uh, matchup. I'll have to think about it, but uh, Spider-Man 2099 for sure and Claire for sure. The third one will be Warlock or someone else that uh, can possibly take that domino um, fairly easily. And of course, Warlock can, but we'll see. But all right, let me think about it and be right back. All right, we're back. And this war is the war that got me to turn off my um, input beta. So in the last war, you heard me say, I wasn't sure if I still had them on, had it on. I did. And I'm gonna talk to you and you're gonna see why I say that and why I'm so sure. So this first fight is against Hulkbuster. Pretty straightforward, easy fight. Um, I fought him many a time, bait out his special one, unless you wanna take a lot of damage uh, into your block with his special two. So, of course, I'm going to bait out his special one. All right, so we're going to 
go in here with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. See the ionized armor, all of that's great. Unstoppable armor, I hate it, but you know, uh, we can deal with it. Claire, Claire can uh, handle this fight. All right, so here we go. We already stripped off his armor, and I'm trying to play it careful. Okay, here we go. Doing good. Got the decks and everything. Got to bait that out. Okay. Oh, whoop. Got the unstoppable, but all right. We 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 got lucky there. No problem there. Okay. Boom boom boom. We rocking him. Rocking him. Up. Oh, I pushed him to a special two, but whatever. Got a little bit of damage. Okay. So here we go. I know that unstoppable is coming. No, nope. Didn't come this time. All right. Cool, cool. We need to bait that special one out. So let me tell you what just happened there. So when the input beta first was released to only a CCP members, I had an issue. The issue was trying to evade the special one or a heavy attack. It would drop my input. So I turned it off. I could not play like that because stuff like that would keep happening. So I turned it off and they said, okay, we, we've identified some issues. Um, we've updated, check it out now. Checked it out, still busted. So then a little bit later in a, another update, I turned it on, I tried it out. It was beautiful. I was able to evade, it still happened, but very, very rarely. So I kept it on for a few days. And I played Alliance War, Alliance Quest. Everything felt great. Like I said, every once in a while I had that issue, but nothing like it was before. Until this. So what's happened after before this is there was an update. 35, I believe. 35.0 update. And since that update, it was back to the way it was when I first was trying it. And a lot of people were reporting that in. But that's what it looks like. It's really hard to um, give any kind of video evidence, but that's what happens when you get a dropped input. The only way that you could um, really show it would be to show your hands at the same time and you could see the swipe and see that it didn't do anything. That would be really the only way. Um, but. I'm not the only one that has reported that issue. So it was this war that got me to turn it off. In fact, I believe I turned it off after that. Okay, so now at the time of this recording, I still don't have it on. I'm waiting to see if they get that fleshed out because, you know, it, it got me killed. And right after that, it was non-responsive. I don't know if you noticed that, um, but it was like completely non-responsive. So even though I survived his stun and attack, it wouldn't move. And he just got me, just got me. But anyway, um, that kind of made me a little salty. You know, I lost my Claire. And you already know I'm going to have to bring Claire back. You know, I took the fight and finished him off with uh, Warlock. But I got to I got to do it. Got to do it. Got to bring him back. Got to bring her back. Um, so and of course, I've, I'm capped out. Uh, maxed out on these. In fact, I have, even right now, five more that I can claim. Five of the packages that Kabam has given us. And I have a bunch of those still in my inventory. So, not too worried about it just yet. Okay? But, anyway, um, just wanted to tell you guys that uh, but here we go. Colossus, it's a standard fight. Um, you've seen me do this fight many times. The only thing that makes this fight uh, annoying is that unstoppable armor. As you can see, he was unstoppable. And see, he's not quite so bad because you can see the timer right there. So I can just wait that timer out or fire my special too. And he's buff immune. And I don't have to worry about it. But when you fight somebody that has a lot of those. And see, for me, 
that really should not be a factor because that's a user interface thing and it shouldn't be a factor in the fight but it is you know you have too many of those things up there and that timer gets lost and it's very important it's a very important timer because when that timer runs down they can go unstoppable and so you really need to see that so if they're not going to do something about the unstoppable they really need to do something about making that timer more visible you know even if it's just a matter of always making that it's the first one always no matter what else uh other buffs it's always going to be the first buff that would be okay but that's not what happens all right so we've got nimrod here and uh <sighs> nimrod is still annoying let me say that he is still annoying so let's fight him we've got unstoppable armor we got to deal with all right uh fortunately we don't have to deal with too much else so you know he's not on that node uh that we hate so much and i wouldn't be using uh claire on that node i'll tell you that okay you see that unstoppable boom and then there's another unstoppable so you just basically have to keep watching and i've had this happen and i'm not quite sure i need to learn more about nimrod but that is sometimes unblockable now i can evade it but i usually just block it because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage to my block and if i miss you know the timing in alliance war is a little bit different uh and if i miss the timing out it's usually going to kill you. so it's just safer to block it but sometimes it's unblockable and i'm just like okay you know i've got a rank three six star nimrod i gotta learn him gotta gotta learn him uh and when i do i will make a video uh on it all right but next up we've got a fight uh a boss fight all right i did not mess with that super scroll don't like fighting him i said somebody else take him i got the boss so i took the boss not that super scroll all right uh so enjoy the fight
like that fight. Y'all remember when Dr. Doom was Billy Bad Butt as the boss? Yeah, that was before the Spider-Man 2099 era. All right, so we'll be right back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war and it was so close. I feel so bad for dying. You know, I feel like I'm the cause of us losing. Uh, that death should not have happened. You know, I was so upset about that death. And then when I saw how close the score was, I was even more upset. But it is what it is. It's over. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.